good morning welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i go by lady t here styles and if you're returning hey lady t gang period oh my god y'all i feel like i haven't said that in so freaking stinking long i miss you guys oh my goodness like i really miss you guys but i can't chit chat with you guys for too long <laughs> because i am in the car now i'm heading to work y'all i didn't have to start my to the time now is 9 59 i didn't have to start um work until 11 30 this morning um this morning i'm doing a uh i'm doing transparent moment um i'm doing this girl here that i messed up um you know players mess up <laughs> players mess up okay so i did this girl here i want to say last friday and um i'm not gonna lie y'all i messed up and i'm gonna learn from my mistake but at the shop we were kind of lit y'all and i was drinking a little bit and mind you i've been doing this client here for a very long time she was kiki keen she was having fun too but at the end of the day I, st I did some of her parts crooked. <laughs> I did some of her parts crooked. So I am going to be fixing her here this morning. I told her just take out the front and I'll redo it again. It was some knotless braids. Um, I love this client. She comes to me time and time again. And she loves my work too. But you know, um, she was a young girl, but she still, you know, she like her hair. She want her hair the way she want her hair. And it wasn't what she was expecting. So she was upset and she wants her hair fixed so that is what i'm going to be doing this morning i'm going to be fixing her hair so first things first i have to stop at the gas station and get some gas that's where i'm at now i'm pulling up to the pump i'm about to go pump some gas and then i'm gonna head down to the shop i have to be there by 11:30. 30 the time now is 10 so i'm still in good timing so if i hurry up and get off this camera chit chat and with you guys then i can go ahead and get that done I got so much to catch you guys up on. I mean, it's not that much to catch you up on. It's just, you know, I got to talk to you guys. I have to talk to y'all in a minute. But I'll be back once I pump my gas and get all that stuff together. And then I'll talk to y'all. Bye, y'all. All right, y'all. So we just made it to the hair store. I got to, of course, get some jam and stuff before I start my day. And, y'all, I'm contemplating if I should drive to Starbucks. Starbucks is always super far from where I, I work at. Hello. Hi, can I get some meat? Some neat braid. Okay. The big one. Well, the the seventeen dollar one. Okay. Yeah. So it's always super far from where I work, and I'm trying to contemplate if I'm gonna drive all the way to Starbucks or I'm gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts. But I really want Starbucks, y'all. I don't know what to do. I still got like another like forty minutes before my client get here. But do I really want to drive my gas that far? I don't know, y'all. Is it worth it? Probably not. But I think I'm gonna go. So, we'll see y'all. 1930? No tax? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I think I came to the conclusion that I'm not going to go, y'all. I'm not going to go to Starbucks. I really, 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 really want Starbucks. But um, the one that's the closest to me, they're shut down for repairs. So, it just does not make sense for me to drive about 15, like, not even 15, like 10 minutes there and back to get some Starbucks when I could just get Dunkin'. Ugh, I don't want it, but that's what I'm going to go get, y'all. I don't want Dunkin', but I'm going to go get it, y'all. I'm thirsty, and I'm a refresher. And that's what I'm going to go do. It is what it is, guys. But um, I guess I'll just pull up and I'll chit-chat with y'all after I get my Dunkin' or whatever the case may be. That'll give me time to chit-chat with you guys and then set up my station and be ready, ready for when my client gets there. Period. Very good. So, um... You need to wait. It's not your call. Let me get off this camera, y'all, because people are driving crazy. Yeah, 
thirty minutes. I'm gonna do um apple pie. So tell me why I'm upset because Duncan told me something, oh, we don't carry lemonade no more. As soon as they get a little, it's still fucking hot outside. How y'all don't carry lemonade no more? Today is 88 degrees. Like, that's why I, mm, this is why I should have went to Starbucks, y'all. It's me trying to go closer and go to Duncan. I don't know, Duncan just not have, have not been serving me lately and I just don't like it. Starbucks been on, they've they been doing a big one with me. Period. Hold on, y'all. Like, literally, Starbucks been doing a big one with me. Like, my drinks be on point. I can order ahead. They be having it sitting there waiting for me. Everything be correct. They got all the stuff that I need. It's just far from where I'm at right now. That's the only reason why I didn't go. But I went to go get a um, mango pineapple refresher. They like, oh, we don't serve lemonade no more. You want green tea? I'm just like green tea off. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all when I get in the shop, y'all. All right, y'all. So tell me why I literally just got here and my key is stuck in the fucking door. Like, I don't know. Why is always got to be a time when I'm ready to come do something? Like, I'm just not understanding. Like, look at this shit, y'all. Look at this. Like, why do my, I, I got in. Like, I was able to cut, get in the store. But now it's like, the key is stuck in the door. I don't know if it's because it's hot or what the issue is. But my key is stuck, y'all. Like, my key will not come out this door. That's always something, bro. I don't want to break it off in the door because that makes it worse for everybody. But baby, how? Like it's not coming out. Like, let me just go to see what it is. It's really not coming out. Hold on, y'all. I'll be back. So, I've been out there for like five to ten minutes trying to get my damn key out the door. I don't know what the hell that is about, but I'm about to go try to put like some oil on it or something and see if it'll slip out then. I don't know if it's maybe, maybe it's jammed because it's dry. It's so hot outside. I don't know what that's about, but I'm about to put some oil on it and see if it works. Hold on, I'll be back. Yeah, y'all, absolutely not. I was not able to get the key out the door, so. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna call the shop owner in a little while and let her know, but. I don't know, I'm about to try some more before I call anybody, cause you know, let me Google like what I could do to get a keys from stuck out of a door. Hold on. All right, y'all. So I went to the store across the street and I got some WD-40. So I'm about to set this thing up to see if it'll work. I know you put this little, this little thing in the nozzle, right? So I kind of don't want to go in there. It's supposed to go inside. I think I'm gonna just spray it on there. Uh, how they gonna sell this thing with it and it ain't even working? It's supposed to go in a little hole. Oh, there we go. So, I put this together like this and I am about to go spray the door. Let's go, let's go see if it works, guys.
it didn't work guys i don't know what the hell is going on but it didn't work so i'm gonna text the girl the owner and let her know that i tried all i could try and my key won't come out the door so i'll hit y'all back in a minute bye Play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just want a rough neck nigga on the top. We just want a semi automatic with a drop. Get me if I finish now, I'm just the gun. I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun. Are you dumb? Uh uh. Who's the man? I don't know no other man. You fuck like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands. What? I don't even got me a hundred bands. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. <laughs> Give me peso, <laughs> extendo. I carry just like a prego. We don't run with nigga called Petro. Hey y'all. Uh, so I know I'm finally back. I don't even know if this is shooting in slow mo. I gotta check it, but y'all, I'm back. I had a time today, y'all. I had a time today. I had to stop, uh, come stop at Walmart because I'm about to make like some cold cut sandwiches. Um, and look who's here, y'all. Period. <laughs> so I had to make a pit stop at Walmart real quick, y'all. I'm about to go grab some lettuce and tomatoes because I'm about to make some cold cut sandwiches for breakfast. I mean, for breakfast, for dinner. But um, yeah, y'all. So. I'm so frustrated. Like, I look, I just literally had a time today, y'all. I freaking remember when earlier, when the key was stuck off in the door. Just don't know when I look good. Remember when the key was stuck off in the door, y'all. Tell me why I got the key out the door. Like, I had finally got the key out the door. And after I got the key out the door, everything was good until it was time to leave. I literally, when it was time to leave, I um had to lock up the shop, y'all know. I had to lock up the shop. Tell me why the keys get stuck again, y'all. The freaking key gets stuck again. So now I'm sitting outside the shop like 30 minutes after I've already finished my client. Get that one that said tea lemonade over there. So after I lock up the shop and finish my client and everything, I'm waiting for my son to pull up. Tell me why. I lock myself, the key gets stuck again in the door. Now the same way that I got the key out the first time, I thought I would be able to get it out again. Baby, that key was not working. Like it was not, it was not going for nothing. So, it, moral of the story, I was pulling, 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 tugging, tugging, tugging. And tell me why the, my key broke off in the door, y'all. My freaking key. Wow, you need me to take over while you talk? No, it's okay. Yeah, so my key broke off up in the door. And now the shop is like, there's no way to get in the shop because the key is broken in the door. So I had to, I was calling, calling, calling the owner of the shop. And baby, she didn't end up answering. And she didn't end up answering. But she just now wrote me back just now. And she said we're gonna have to call like a locksmith or something like that. So I'm at Walmart, y'all. I'm trying to pay for my stuff. Hold on, talk to my son. You gotta use the bathroom? Huh? Yeah, a little bit. Go, 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 go. Mostly because his pants are tight. Pants are tight? Okay, y'all, I'll be back. Hey y'all, uh, so it is now several days later and it is what, today's Saturday? What is today, September 9th or 10th? Today is, hmm. Today is Saturday, September 9th. What's up y'all, welcome back to the vlog. Oh, look at this butterfly. I freaking love butterflies. If anybody knows me, they know that I love butterflies. Oh, it's hot, y'all gonna hear the AC. But um, why am I so close? Oh, that's what yesterday when it was raining. I had to push my seat up, baby. I was scared. You know, I be scared. But anyway, so now we're in the car. Um, I got finally got Prego out the bed. Um, today, I am, remember that? I don't know if y'all remember, like, uh, if y'all watch my shorts. I made a short saying that I found a place with $25 massages. 
Well, I'm going to get one of those massages today, y'all, and we're about to head to the mall. Baby wants something to eat, so we're gonna get her something to eat, and we're just gonna enjoy our Saturday. We're about to wing it. We don't have any plans today. The only plan was for me to go get my massage at the mall so I can feel relaxed and rejuvenated, so that is what we're about to go do. So we're gonna take y'all along on that journey, so let's go. You ready? Right, y'all. Hey, y'all, so we just made it to the I'm about to say, is the door not open? We just made it to the place where I'm about to get my massage at. And baby, I'm ready. But first things first, we have to stop at this place right here. I'm about to show y'all where we got to stop at because it's at Prego's request. And it smells good. Hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all. Pretzel maker. Baby wants to go to get a pretzel maker. She has a taste for it. So that's what we're going to go get her. They're playing music in this mall, so we're about to go ahead and cue the music. Bye, y'all. Let me tell y'all why I was just pissed off at the pretzel place. They literally don't speak no English. Not one person working there spoke English. And now, granted, it's okay to not speak English. You know, I love all type of, you know, nationalities. But if I'm trying to order something and ask you questions about it, how can you talk to me and explain to me if you don't understand me? Like, it's getting really crazy out here. Like, they just hire people that don't speak no English, can't talk to the American people. And y'all was mad at Trump for wanting the people to close the damn border up. But baby, I'm missing Uncle Trump because he wasn't playing about giving all these, you know, foreigners jobs in America. He wanted the American people to be able to have jobs. So, I don't know, y'all. I wasn't a Trump supporter supporter, but baby. All right, y'all. So we're at the massage place now. Here's the priceless and I'm about to go get this done because maybe I need a massage so let's go yes hi how are you here baby I'm good <laughs> all right y'all so i'm back from my massage now granted i think she thought i wanted a deep tissue massage i really just wanted a regular body massage but it's okay y'all it's, it's it's fine i got a deep tissue the shit hurt it like hell but it made me feel better like my body is sore just a tiny bit but i feel like i needed a deep tissue massage like, I really feel like I needed that. But, ooh, baby, I'll come back and back and back and back again. If I could pay $30 for a massage, baby. <laughs> ooh. I like getting massages. I don't care what nobody said. I love getting a good massage, and that felt amazing. So now we're about to just go do some pointless looking because I only came here for the massage, but we are in a mall, as y'all can see. And we're about to go inside Charlotte Roof. And we're about to go check out what they have in here. And just look around. I really don't need anything in here, y'all. But I might get like a little sweatsuit or something. Because your girl be needing something to throw on. I like these fleece little joggers. I like the white ones. But I know I don't need no white, baby. Baby, I don't need no white. Let's look at these $10 ones. They got black gray they got all the colors in here so i think i'm gonna get me like i don't know they love sick they they fleece that's why they don't got they're not like sweat pant material oh they got these pants remember i just bought these pants right here y'all from another mall in milford mall i bought these exact pants and i love these pants so period i'm gonna be wearing those soon Oh, I think I'm going to get some of these. Yes, I want these. Why these cream ones can't be like this? 
All right, y'all, so we just pulled up to Ulta because, baby, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I've been going through a lot of facial issues. So I know for sure that they have this, um, this face wash, this self-care wash that I used before that was absolutely amazing. So I'm about to go in here and see if they have it in stock. And I'm gonna go ahead and, she gonna stop or no? So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna see if they have this stuff in stock and yeah, purchase what I need to purchase. So I'm gonna take you guys along on the journey. Let's go, period. Let's go, y'all. checking out furniture y'all know we have a baby coming so we want to redo our living room and we want to revert it from our workspace to now being a living room space we want to make our house a home now so we are out looking for sectionals and couches being adult like <laughs> and this one is finding comfort in every chair and don't want to get up y'all so we've been in this store for already 30 minutes and I can see a whole nother hour about the past because we just only on one side of the store. It's a whole nother side to look at. So I think this comfortable You like this? Mm -hmm. It's 3000 Sit up. All right, y'all. So we just left out of um, Raymore and Flanagan. We just left out of Raymore and Flanagan. We stopped at Starbucks. I didn't even put that on camera, did we? No, we didn't put that. We stopped at um, Starbucks before we even got to Raymore and Flanagan, y'all. We left them in the car and then we went to go look at furniture. And now we're about to go to Bob's because Raymore was tripping with the prices. <laughs> they were tripping with the prices in here, okay, y'all? So now we're just gonna go to Bob's and see what type of deals they got. Because Bob's be talking a good one on their commercials, don't they? And they got a kitchen with the sweets and stuff. Go get some cookies and stuff. <laughs> just said, go get some cookies. Look at that hand. Look at that hand, Pat. All she's thinking about is the snacks. I wanna find furniture. I want to find it too, but sure, that's where it's at. This girl's crazy. We'll be back when we get the Bob y'all. We about to go get on this highway. The girl's crazy. Bye, y'all. We're going to talk to them about that shit because if we could get financing, why not? I'm not about to act like we rich because we're not. So, we're going to go check some stuff out, y'all. We're going to take y'all along. Period, y'all. We're going to take y'all along on redoing our home. It smells like plastic or something like motor oil yeah that's Let's a lot of, yo it's a lot of people um shopping for furniture like literally y'all when we was just at um raymore it was a lot of people and then bob's it's a lot of people so period did this say 600 dollars? <laughs> you said look at it it might be comfortable let me see it's like giving feng shui it's too low and it's hurting my back already. Look how low this is, y'all. Don't get down here, baby. It's gonna be hard for you to get up. Cause look, I gotta do this. Don't get down here. Don't do that. <laughs> look, don't do that. 
Oh, she getting the pep talk. You know that don't touch shit, don't be fucking up their shit. Oh, they have an outlet in the back. Well, that's where we need to go. Yeah, we need to go to the outlet. Yeah, because the outlet going to be cheaper, y'all. So, we going to go. Oh, my God, babe. We just got in here. That's what you're supposed to do. Go to snacks first and then look. Okay. So, you won't be hungry while you're looking. So, you going to go get some snacks first? Yeah. Okay, come on. Let's go get some snacks. Oh, they got food. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna get some snacks because this girl wants to come to the cafe. As soon as we walk in here, she's talking about cafe food and candy. Girl, I thought that was your cousin. Um, type, um what's her name? Kashan. Yeah, he looked like Kashan. <laughs> Where? Mike, back up. They got cookies right there. They have ice cream right here. You want ice cream? I'm gonna just snatch me some mints. You want some mints? Mm -hmm. Okay, they got something else right here too. What is these? I'm gonna take a few. I don't want that either. You don't want that either? No coffee? Yeah, All right, let's go. Coffee. Let's go look. That's a $99. All right, so she done stole her candy. Well, she didn't steal because it's complimentary, y'all. This not the rich for one. The rich for one got the milk, got the shit. Yo, you aggravating. No, that's Rich Work. Rich Work got the shit. I ain't gonna hold you. You ain't even had no cookie. Who, who wants the peanut butter cookie? This one ninety nine. dollars 99 Did you see what I'm saying? I don't know. What is it? $3.99? Alright then, Bob, but one ninety nine dollars dress up. Can't go wrong with the YouTube Blue. What's this, the YouTube Blue? She said this, the YouTube Blue. <laughs> that's some nice shit. This section is $6.99. Like, mm. a little tough. What do you think? That's $2.99. Yeah, that shit is hard. You gonna fuck around. Go ahead, go sit on it. <laughs> go sit on it. <laughs> what is giving? It's giving we gonna be sitting like this. <laughs> What is it giving? Two at a time. Two at a time? Get up. <laughs> hey, I'm telling him, I'm telling him what to do, right? This nigga gonna text me back talking about something. Oh yeah, I think I'm eating my sushi when I finish too. He didn't give a fuck about shit I said. He gonna tell me talking about I'm, I'm gonna eat my sushi too. That's what he said? This is the, this is the chronicles of the pregnant girl be going crazy. Telling, talk, telling, telling people off and making sure Mir doing what he supposed to do. But he didn't care. He started talking about fucking sushi. So he didn't care what you was had. That's to say. why ain't shit get done. Cause all he was thinking about was what? All he was thinking about was sushi. I'ma do. I'ma eat my sushi. I think that the focus is on. Let me take that off. I, I'ma eat my sushi. When I told him what to do, I'ma eat my sushi. That's the reply I got. Mm. Oh, it's defocusing. I don't like that. Hold up. Man, listen. I don't know where y'all think we going, but she always want to go somewhere. Ain't got shit to do, nowhere to go. But we leaving. Where, where, where we going? I'm going shopping. Why does it keep unfocusing? I don't like that. You're supposed to do it right here. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, um, I finally picked up the camera again. I don't know why. I've been having, like, the worst time with... She turns the light off as I'm vlogging with you guys, but whatever. But I've been having the worst vlogging experience um, for the last month and a half. I don't know why. I just haven't been in the mood. Um, I'm actually just really, like, working, 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 getting my coins up. And just enjoying my wife's pregnancy and our pregnancy and just enjoying it so i mean i feel like we should be doing more pregnancy vlogs um i really do feel like we should be doing more pregnancy vlogs so you guys can follow along on the journey but i do be you know uploading on my facebook if you're not following me on facebook then what are you doing i um upload on my stories and i up upload on my timeline different updates of what my pregnant wife be driving me crazy doing i sure do and on my tiktok as well so y'all make sure y'all go follow me on facebook Serena burgos um yeah, y'all, but 
I, we tried to, um, I've been trying to get my wife in the mood to do the video again about how we got pregnant. But she has not been in the mood to get in front of the camera. Every time I ask her, she'd be like, yeah, today, today, today. And then she ended up sleeping the day away. Y'all see that? And then she ends up sleeping the day away and then we don't get to the video. Of course, I want her to be in the video with me. I mean, obviously, I can do it myself, but what's a video without her in it being pregnant? And um, so we've been trying to, I've been really working hard to get her up to do that video because the time that we did record the whole thing, like we literally recorded the whole thing and we did it in slow motion. Yeah. Once we did that in slow motion, it was like, whatever. We did not feel like doing it over again, y'all. But um, this time when we get the strength to do it, we will do it. But right now, my birthday is coming up on Thursday. Today is what? Tuesday. So we got two more days to my birthday. And then our gender reveal is this weekend. My, actually, my birthday weekend on September 17th. So you guys, of course, will be getting behind the scenes footage of that. So I'm definitely going to push all the vlogs that I have in this camera. I am going to edit them and I am going to upload them they're gonna be all like older vlogs as y'all seen already because i'm gonna upload some before this y'all gonna get a bunch of old vlogs what we've been doing throughout the week last month and the beginning of this month y'all gonna see a lot of that stuff and then going forward you're gonna see what i'm doing for my birthday and then you're gonna see the whole gender reveal situation so y'all stay tuned for that now they are waiting for me i was waiting for them so i started doing a video but now they're standing there waiting for me so we're about to go get in the car go shopping and i'll pick the camera up when we decide where we're going well i know where i'm going when we get there bye y'all Hey y'all, so as yeah, y'all see, we made it to my favorite store and we're about to, um... Somewhere you never mentioned. What you mean I never mentioned? I never said you had to go there. You said... I said we was gonna go to the mall and go to Primark and then we are gonna go to Cotton On for Jameer's clothes. You look like Cotton. Well, let me find some... I need a chain. So anyway, y'all, we made it to my favorite store, Primark. It look, it's real quiet in here. It's giving... We about to close. Right, it's giving you when you told me. Come on, girl. You see how she be hating, y'all? But, um, let me just glance at the boots real quick. They got my boots back. <laughs> you know my little cheap little fake Ugg boots I be wearing? They, they got them. Hold on. All right, y'all, so let me show y'all the boots that I be wearing. I get here for like $9. I hope they didn't go up in the price, but it's like $9. Oh, they're $10. They went up on the price, y'all. They was $9. They went to $10. Inflation is real. Inflation is really, 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 really real. Oh, these are so cute, y'all. Oh, get that. She has been so clumsy being pregnant, y'all. I can't even explain to y'all how clumsy my baby done got. You want to be an old man so bad. Give me the damn socks. Y'all see Simba? That's what we're doing, Simba and Nala, for our um, gender reveal. Period. Super cute. Be and I'll take that part out. <clears throat> what? Simba better. No, Nala's better. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all. So we're about to go find my son something to wear for the gender reveal. He doesn't have anything yet. Me and my wife, we got our outfits for the gender reveal. But literally, he has nothing. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so literally... <laughs> He has nothing, so we have to get him something from scratch. We'll probably like try to incorporate some stuff that we got at the house. See, see, see. Y'all, she just did that because the little Mexican girls walked by. I'm about to beat her ass. Like, she fucking played too much. Like, you play entirely too much. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. Oh, this $8 sweatsuit. It's Harvard. <clears throat> Oh, you know I wanted some Harvard stuff. I don't like the bottoms of it. Right here. What this say? One smile what? Send the better. One smile at a time, smiling. This is cute. This is cute. She's hiding all the Simba stuff. You want to wear that to the gender reveal? No. Hold this. Give me no, he ain't. Go get up. Falling asleep on the clothes. We only been here three seconds. Three freaking seconds. That's a long time. Three seconds is a long time. 
Oh, they got some um, sleep wear, y'all. Look. Okay, it's giving negligee, okay? Um, grandma would love that. Yes, she would. Look at her. She done found something. She like, y'all. Here we go. She know they want her little belly ain't got feeling them. What? These is cute. I didn't know they is cute. <clears throat> well, you try to find your size? You know that belly ain't gonna get me, ain't it? Don't she look small, y'all? Bump reveal. She's small. Y'all can't tell. And she got a black shirt on. I need my, um... Moo Oh, that's not what we came here for, right? No, that's not. Yeah. No. Yeah. I was talking to Jameer, not you. <laughs> These sneakers is kind of cute, y'all. I ain't even gonna hold you. They not name brand, but they cute. Alright. Alright, so let's team find you an outfit. Let's find you something. Alright. So. Look at this. It, this is nice. Black pants is wild. But I like this sweat too. It's called it's a new vision on it. And it got pink for girl. It's like a fuchsia for girl. Mom, guess what? what? New vision, right? Huh? That's the name of my grandma church. For real? Mm -hmm. This is cute though. I really like it. Babe, look at this. My God. All right, y'all, so let's go finish looking. See what they got. This, oh, babe, look. I want some pants like this. Baby. I like that. This is cute. I want some pants like this. You want some pants like that? Mm hmm This is cute. Beautiful. Let me see the white one. It's white. It looks like this and it's white. That one looks better. Mm -hmm. Alright. Hang this back up. Alright, y'all. So, I'm thinking about this shirt, but I don't know yet. 1314. It was a toys. It was a toys. And mom, there's a little message in the middle of the video what? when I was holding the camera. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay, look at this Naruto shirt. You still like Naruto? Yeah. Yeah? But ever since that Netflix restarted, I had to restart the whole entire thing. And now I don't know where I started. <laughs> you don't know where you was at? Look at these sweaty hood hoodies for $7. I think I was at season 7, but I think I was at season 5. I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know where you was at either, brother. That just got me mad because why would Netflix restart their app? Like, so I don't know. These look like leggings. I don't like that. It's kind of tight on them. Alright, so. Alright, y'all, we'll be back. Alright, y'all, so I'm actually freaking looking for this kid's clothing store called Cotton On. And baby, I cannot find this store to save my life. I've had my pregnant wife walking back and forth to find this store. And I can't find it. So, why do I think the store was legitimately exactly where we already was at? Lord help me. I've been looking for this store and we were just literally in front of the store and passed it twice. I'm over it. I'm literally over it. But, yeah, my wife is back there with my son. I told them to walk like super slow so they don't gotta rush with me. The mall is now 7.30, the mall closes at eight. I just wanna be able to get in the store and browse around before it closed. It would mean me to get up here late in, in the day to look around for some stuff, but I think I just found the store, y'all, and we literally just brought cookies next door. And the whole time we was next to the store. I'm over it, y'all. Found the store. This store right here called Kids Cotton On. They got two for 20 tees, which is super cute. I don't think this is even my son's size while I'm trying to find this store. This don't even have my son's size, y'all. 